Good afternoon, everybody. Um, Roberta is my model, and um, what we would like to do here is the technique that I call the box cut. Um, a lot of people would call it a pixie. So before we start the haircut, the first thing we do is look at the the bone structure and the shoulders. Shoulders will tell us if we can if we need to make it bigger or smaller. And another thing we need to do is look at the neckline. For instance, Roberta has a long neck in the front, but a short neck in the back. So it means that if I want to make the neck long longer, I have to lift it and do a, a V, an inverted V shape to make that longer. Uh, but then I will cut it longer here to get the length. And that will be the first thing I'm going to do to give her more balance in the neck. Then as far as the front is concerned, we have to decide um, on the line here to do with the face. We have long faces, we have, we have um, uh, try, uh, uh, did they say medium and then we have wide. So if it's wide, we cut it shorter to have length here. If it's a long face, you make it shorter here to give wideness, to give you width. If you have a balanced face, like Roberta has, then we have the middle where we can use the bones when we do the top and the side. But I'm going to do a haircut that is just like a box. I'm using a box technique to do this the whole line, okay? Then I've got to think that the beginning of this box, this has got to go in. Roberta tells me that she has more of a flat area here. We have to go shorter underneath to give the volume. Because if I leave it a little bit long, this will go flat and then you've got volume here. So we will take that away to make it more volume in this area. And then we were talking about, we talk about around the ears. Before I do the ears, um, decide on the line, I like to see the balance with the nose and the balance with the head. In fact, of Roberta's ears are small. They're small in, 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 uh, in relationship to the head shape. So I can afford, with short, uh, small ears, I can afford to do anything I want in that line. Um, I do believe that it, when, when you start a short haircut, you need to have a little piece of string or something, and then you do a measurement from here to this point, and then you take the string the other way. This should be more of a, more of a distance here than here. If you find that here is very much more and then here is shorter, then you have to give more volume on the haircut, and that's not a pixie. So, you know, we have to put that into consideration. Then another consideration is the lines in the face. If they go down, we want to take it maybe shorter to bring the up lines and not the down lines. So that will be, uh, that's my starting point. Then we have a look at the, the, the shape of the eyes and the, how the nose goes. But we'll talk about that another time. Okay, so I'm now ready to to do a shampoo and then we'll come back to starting the haircut. Thank you.